This is not supposed to be the video today, but sometimes when motivation strikes and you have ADHD, sometimes you just gotta follow where the energy leads you. Hi, I'm Shauna, if we haven't met before, and if we have, welcome back to my channel. So I am back in my sunroom. If you have been following me for a bit, you know that I just decluttered this for my fall declutter challenge. And well, I'm back in here for a very unexpected project today. It all began a week ago when my daughter came home to vote for the election. She stayed for dinner and I was showing her around the sunroom, showing her like the rearrangement of the furniture and things like that. And she saw this and I told her, hey, as soon as that sells, we'll hang the hammock up. And she said, mom, that looks fabulous out here. I think you should keep it. And I said, absolutely not. Under no circumstances will I keep that desk. I love it. It's amazing. However, it is a clutter magnet. I, in order to use it, it's a secretary desk, so like this will drop down. It's got all these cute little cubbies and drawers and things, but when that, that front is down, it just attracts clutter. It is so hard to keep organized. I'm like, I don't have a need for it. I don't have a use for it. I'm not keeping it. And she's like, all right, mom. Well, then my husband, this weekend, we were, we were talking about the sunroom and the hammock. It was a long weekend and I was like, man, I wish the desk would have sold so we could have the hammock up. Maybe we should just move the desk to the garage so when somebody buys it, it'll be right there, easy to load up in their truck. I'm like, but I don't really want to put anything in the garage. If you saw my garage declutter video, you'll know why I don't want to put anything in the garage. Um, and so he's like, I think you need to keep the desk. I'm like, what is it with you two? I'm not keeping the desk. He's like, hear me out. What if we turn it into a potting bench for you? And all of a sudden, like my plant mama ears just like perked up and I'm like, a what? And he's like, a, a, a potting bench for you. So you have a spot to like store all your plant things. And he's like, then you have a spot that's dedicated just to repotting your plants. And I'm like, let me think about it. Well, let me just tell you, I hyper fixated on that all weekend. So today we're turning that into a potting bench. All right, so somebody wants to be in the shot. He's such a ham bone. Hi, Mozzie, you're cute. All right, so my husband's idea was to finally tear down this brick half wall of ugliness. We have no idea what its purpose is, but it's there. And then to put this desk either this way or this way, which would block part of the window, but like not enough that it really matters. And then we would have a spot for the desk over here. However, you can see that the floor is broken, which means that this would be at an angle, which would make opening the desk harder, potting would be unstable, like that desk would just rock, it would just not ideal. So until we actually do the sunroom makeover project, um, I don't want to put it over here. Random fun fact, color of the siding here was the original color of the house when we bought it. And then we repainted a couple of years ago and um, we like it much better. So my thought was to put the desk here. We could get rid of this table, which we only pretty much use to hold donations and things like that. And then we could still have the pet area here, even though we don't use this, like it's completely empty. It is just here to hold this. So keep this here, put the desk here. It'll be opening, closing, easy to use, not in the way. However, there's this pole sticking out and the desk would actually have to come to like here. So all of this would have to get moved down and then it would stick out so far that it would be like out here. I don't really like that. So I slept on it last night and had another idea this morning. So the plan right now, I don't know if it's gonna work, is move this out, put it on Facebook, Craigslist, anything like that and sell it because we don't need it. If we move all the plant things out of the garage, or at least most of them, we will have a spot in the garage for this mess, which clearly is an eyesore when we're out here. And then move this to here and then put the desk here. The only problem I foresee with this is that this desk, this little table thing can be wonky. I did stabilize it, put some more screws in it to like make it sturdier before we put all the donation stuff on it. I don't know if we'll be able to hold this still. So that is something that we're going to have to 
kind of roll with. If this does not hold this, then I will move this down and put the desk here and have it be out more. Don't really like that idea, but if that's what needs to happen, that's what we're gonna do. All right, plan is in place, let's get to work. So I know this is a little bit of a different kind of video than what I have been sharing, but I still think it's important to talk about. So we have had some needs in our home that we haven't quite figured out how to make it work. One of them is I needed a spot to do repotting, plant my propagations, things like that. I had been doing it on the table out here in the sunroom, but I do it so infrequently that we really didn't need that table and we would enjoy the sunroom as a whole much better with just like seating and the hammock. I also really did not like all of the donations being out here because when I sit out here and I try to relax, I just see the visual clutter. If you've been around for a while, you will know that I am very sensitive to that, which is why I like to kind of put things in bins, behind doors, things like that. If you've ever taken the Clutterbug organization style quiz, I am a ladybug, put it behind, put it behind doors. Um, side note, the, the table was sturdy enough to hold the cubes. We even got another um, order of dog food and it's holding beautifully. But so trying to figure out ways to, in our home, make a way to hide the donations better and have something dedicated to like my plants and repotting them. Is this what I would have ever expected us to do? Absolutely not. I never would have even considered using this desk, this particular desk, as a potting bench until my husband mentioned it. Where he got that idea, I don't know. But I'm really, really excited about it. I mean, even just doing this part here, it feels so much better out here. Apparently we did put things in that drawer. It's my dog's birthday cookie treat for his birthday, which is next week. And then catnip toys for the two cats. I don't know why they got put here and not in like the drawer of treats. And I want you guys to know how much I love you that I have this on mute. This desk is not hard to move, but on the concrete floor, the sound is atrocious. It like... I started moving it and all of the animals just like scattered. It, it's really bad. Um, so just cleaning up out here, trying to make room for the desk to come over. I changed the camera angle so you could see Mozzie playing with a catnip toy, but fortunately he rolled out of the way. This desk does not make the atrocious noise when it moves across the floor. However, this is sped up. It probably took me 20 minutes to move it 15 feet. It was so hard this piece think about how heavy you think this piece might be and it's heavier than that it is the most awkward heaviest piece of furniture i think i have ever owned in my house in my life but i really do love this piece it kills me that i have not been able to find a use for it that doesn't attract clutter there's so many flat spaces on this desk that you really wouldn't think there are because it closes up but as soon as you put anything that you're working on like the desk has to be open and it just it attracts clutter like nothing else but this looks so much better out here. Like I'm loving the way that it's looking so far. And then when like the sun hits the wood, oh, chef's kiss, it's so beautiful. So I really am excited to be repurposing this desk. I don't think I mentioned this, but if memory serves me correctly, this was my mom's first desk, maybe her second, but this was her desk when she was younger. So the fact that I have this piece now, it just, it feels like a family heirloom. So trying, I've been trying to sell it for a couple years and it hasn't sold. So I feel like it, it was meant to be with us for even a little bit longer. So I am really excited about using this as a potting bench. It really does like solve some problems that we have in our home and like make my life a little bit easier when it comes to that. But I am a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie, to hear what my mom says about it. So mom, Hope you're okay with this, but you can still come visit the desk. So that's a plus, right? All right, so I gathered some things that I knew I was gonna want in the potting bench. And 
it's funny how when things are in my garage, I'm like, I have no storage space. I have too many things. And then I start putting in here. I'm like, I have room to grow and like actually get the things that I've been wanting to have, but not have, I haven't had the storage space for. So I'm actually taking hanging chalkboard labels and I'm cutting a slit in the hole and putting it around the drawer pulls here. So that way I'm not ruining the piece of furniture, but it'll be easy for me to find things. The drawers are a little bit smaller than I was hoping they would be. So like my, my hanging pots aren't going to fit in there, but like I'm using the cubbies for different things. And then some of these drawers, like the bottom left drawer does stick, but other ones were just kind of stuck because I haven't used the desk three years maybe. Like it has been a while. So I was trying to see if I could put some big pots down in the bottom and I was able to make some of them fit, but some of them were just a little bit too tall, even when I were, they were on their side to fit, which is fine. But just knowing that I have the space to grow and things are organized and I'll be able to like use this well makes me really happy. If you watched my Project 333 update that went live on Tuesday, you will know that I should know better than to wear clean clothes to do a project like this. I still have that mess to clean up, but here's what it looks like now. I think this is the first time that this half of the room has been this empty since we moved in. It feels so big in here now. And now we can hang up the hammock, probably not till this weekend, but it's ready whenever we are. This looks so much cleaner and neater over here. I love it so much. At some point, I want to get like a big basket with a lid to hold all the big pots in it and then use that basket as like as an end table out here. But for now, these two are too big to fit in a drawer at the bottom, so they'll just sit up here. And it bugs me a little bit, but you know what? It's better than I thought it would be, so I'm okay with it. And then down here, we have so much room to grow, which is good because there's more things that, <clears throat> there's more things that I want for out here, but I just haven't had room for it before. But I use these chalkboard labels for labeling the drawers. And then I have my beads for my pothos and philodendron, my little snippers and my tying up tape. And so much room to grow. And then down here I have hanging pots in this one and then big pots in this one. This drawer sticks, so I'm not sure what I will put in this one, if I'll use it as, at all. But then I have another drawer available for like medium-sized pots. But I also need, it might go in this one, is a reusable tablecloth, like the vinyl ones. So when I pull this down and I pot on the table, the suede cover, even though it's it's you know been used and abused, will be protected from like the dirt and the water. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this surprise video. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I can't wait to show my family. I have given my daughter a sneak peek, but I'm so happy with it. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you later. Bye.